Welcome to Seashorn Vla Vlog. 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 Start again. Welcome to Seashorn Vlog. And we have just moved hotels from the Village Hotel in Sentosa. If you want to see what that hotel is like, I'll put a link in the description. But we have checked into the Pan Pacific Singapore, which is at Marina Bay. There's two Pan Pacifics in Singapore. Where we're at the Marina Bay one. And we're going to get our day started. We are. It's 10, 10.30, something like that. It is actually 10.17. 10.17. Um, and we're both hungry and thirsty. We need some breakfast. I'm definitely so. thirsty. I wouldn't say hungry. <laughs> mm. You've got to eat something. I need to eat, it's yeah. breakfast time. Right? I'm not hungry. <laughs> so let's go and find some food. We've come across to Suntech City and one of the first shops we see is Don Don Donkey and we know that this is somewhere we want to check out. So we'll be doing that later, but first we need to find something to eat. And a hawker centre or somewhere in here? Well, all vending machines are behind you. We've eventually found a food court uh, for Sean. Unfortunately, Sean's feet are absolutely killing him, so he needs to sit down. I've ordered another spicy noodle. I'm not sure what Sean's ordering, but he's, he's somewhere around ordering something. Somewhere, I'm not sure where. Oh, he's right at the bottom there. Ordering some food. Sean's arrived back with what looks like some sort of minced dinner. Yeah, that's, that's what I got, a minced dinner. <laughs> it's a Thai basil pork with fried rice and an egg, and it costs eight Singapore dollars, which is about a fiver, five pound. Which I think is quite reasonable. Yeah. That's quite a good portion. You're waiting on your noodles. I am waiting on my noodles because they're making them fresh. I've been watching That's them. It. <laughs> I had some chili sauces in front of it and I, they smelled a bit fishy to me, so I didn't get one. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Crunchy. None of that went in my mouth. <laughs> Crunchy onions. Very flavoursome pork, or with a, with a bit of a kick behind it. This one, the Thai stall in the food court. Your egg looks good as well. It's regular rice, yeah. Yeah. Mine's from the Sichuan cuisine kitchen. And I'm having number five, which is spicy noodles. And there is your spicy noodles. Yep. Which looks different to last night. It does, so all the ingredients are there and you obviously have to mix them. Mix them up together. That's a load of garlic. Do you think that's garlic or do you think it's ginger? Garlic. It's fresh garlic. Yeah. There's the chilli. It's the same as last night. Mix it all up and see how it looks. My spicy chilli noodles are fantastic they're actually colder noodle than what i had last night but it's got fresh garlic and fresh carrot fresh coriander fresh um cucumber and with the spice sauce in it's just really delightful all nicely mixed up i feel like it feel, even though you're having you went for chinese sichuan food yeah even though you're having you even though you're having noodles it still feels kind of healthy-ish because yeah. of the whole freshness the, well it made the noodles fresh, how, didn't much, how much did you say this cost eight dollars eighty Mine is really nice, got a nice uh, amount of spice to that. And at home, I've had the same dish at home, no spice in it whatsoever at home. We've finished our food and we're now heading to find something to do. Sure, it was got... delicious, that food. It was really tasty. We will get better at showing you how to make the food, all the different options as we go through this series, but that was really nice. And I, I thought, at like five pound a piece, very cheap for what we got because I pay a lot more than you pay for that. Yeah, it was a very, very big portion. There'll be more food in this video, don't you worry. <laughs> We're just but trying to find our feet and find our way out, really, aren't we? My feet minute. are attached to me, and you know how I know that because they're really sore. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I think we're going to go and find the Merlion and have a look at like across the like the Bay Area to look at Marina Bay and you know all, all that touristy stuff is uh, is the next bit of the plan, I think. But first impressions of Singapore and the Pan Pacific and Suntech are very positive. They I are. I like it. Really like this place, actually. Yeah, this is a nice Where's little... Where's the lift? Uh, behind us. Behind us. This is a nice little um, shopping centre. Yeah.
But on the way to trying to find the Merlion, we've found Raffles Hotel, so why not go to the long bar for a Singapore sling, eh? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. There you go. I think it's this way. We've found long bar. We have. We just need to find the way up for you but because. Is, is, it me, uh, is it really a long bar? Yeah. We just need to find the lift. That's okay. I've got it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, thanks. Can you check it? Uh, can you? Yeah. Thank you. This is a bucket list place that I've always wanted to come to. There's the peanuts, we'll have some of them. And there's the long bar as it is today. It came here in 1991 after it moved from the ballroom. It's nice and cool in here. It is. I was just reading all the history about it, how, how it originally started. Um, how it originally started when the, the men used to walk by, we used to sit and watch the women walk by and the women couldn't drink. So the bartender, original bartender, made a, a drink for them that looked like a mocktail. And then that's how the singing horse thing came about. Yeah. So there's the menu. We're going to get a traditional, I think. So I've gone for the original and we get them included with the Go City Pass. So that's a 39 do uh, Singapore dollar drink and we're getting two of them. And Caroline's going for a gin pahit. So a Malayan style G&T, a Malayan style rather, why did I say Malayan? A Malayan style G&T or long pink gin. Let's hope they're good. Nuts. I'm not about you. <gasps> you just do that on the floor. Look at that mess you've made. <laughs> That's what you meant to do. Sean, you can't, you, you, can't, you have to be original, you, unoriginal, don't you? Or whatever original for yourself. You meant to, you meant to put it in your mouth, crack it, Feels wrong. Feels wrong. It does feel right, wrong, but it feels so right at the same time. <laughs> Look at that person, they ate loads. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is a cool bar. It is? Literally and figuratively. <laughs> it is very cold in here. <laughs> Your gin has arrived. Yeah, lemongrass. I can't think what that is. It's a leaf. It's a leaf, it's a leaf of some sort. It's refreshing. And, yeah. You wouldn't have it, but it's nice. No, I don't like gin, which is why I'm drinking two Singapore slings with gin. That's how I tried my first ever Singapore sling in the Raffles Long. So box. you've got the original Raffles one. And Sean does not like gin. No, you're wrong. I haven't got the original one. I haven't got one. Got two. <laughs> you got two. You don't like pineapple or cherry, so I've got two. I don't like gin, but I can't taste the gin in this. I can just taste fruit juice. Well, that's good. You like fruit juice? Because I'm like a lady. <laughs> the alcohol flavour is strong, though. I just can't yeah, taste the same it. Yeah, the same with my, my mm. gin as well. I like it in here. Nice, nice chill bar. Well, I like music as well. Yeah. And the nuts. I'm, are you nuts about me? <laughs> if you cracked it with your teeth, you'd get the salt. Finished on the long bar. That was lovely. <clears throat> Definitely recommend that as something to do when you come to Singapore. Just one of those things that you have to do. Drink a hundred year old drink where it was invented in, uh, in Raffles, which is the hotel's named after 
the person who essentially created Singapore as we, as we know it today, kind of. We are just going to have a little look around the hotel, mainly the lobby area in the front, because that's what we want to see. But we're also walking past the Raffles Courtyard, just behind the camera here. And let me show you. I think we're going to come back here at some point, maybe during a happy hour, later on in the trip, to check out some drinks and maybe some food. But we want to explore this hotel a bit before we head to the Merlion. Such a beautiful uh, hotel, isn't it? The architecture and everything. Really old colonial style. But this is the restoration of it, isn't it? It's been restored. See, it, I like both. I like the colonial style of this, and I also like the newness of that. I think that's the Marriott, maybe? Possibly. You do like, maybe? you really do like new modern stuff. I like both. I'm very much old stuff. Yeah. Here's the front of this hotel. It is pretty iconic and it looks fantastic. It's a bit of a maze to get around though. It is a bit of a maze to get around, but it's, it's but actually that maze was really nice because we got to see some things we didn't know were there and the, just the architecture, the smells, just fantastic. It's really nice. Now we're going to go and find that merlion. We are. That escapes us. On the search for the merlion. <laughs> found our way to the Fullerton Bay Hotel. That's the more expensive version of it. And opposite from Marina Bay Sands. We still haven't made it to the Merlion yet. The accessible would seem to be pushing us further away, but we're, we will get there. There's the one Fullerton Pavilion. And there's the Fullerton Hotel. And yeah, lots of tall buildings. It was a long walk to get here from Raffles City for us. I need another drink. This is what we've been waiting for to see all of this. We found the Merlion. That's not a great view of it though. We need to get a better one. I'm just going to get some drinks in this bar first though. I've got my $16 happy hour pint of Sapporo. Normally 19, 16 and happy hour, but we are sat right next to the Merlion. So pickups. That's the Coca-Cola light. Refreshing. <sighs> I do like a nice pint of Sapporo. I could have got Tiger for $5.50, but I went for the $16 Sapporo because I'm in a deal. No, actually at happy hour, it's like one for one. So you get oh, like so two. Oh, so got two for $5.50, okay. No, it wasn't two for $5.50, it was two for something. I just can't remember the amount. We are right next to the Merlion though. We're going to be on the hunt for cheaper happy hours as the trip goes on. Yeah, you've got a Corona. Yeah. You better drink it, it's getting warm. Mine's $9 in the happy hour or something. It's getting warm. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us where. I can't even see you. Right. No, Phil. Oh, no. Yeah, that's it. No, man, move back. Uh, no, you, you get it and then you move it. No. <laughs> Go forward a little bit more. Uh, no, that's it. No, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> you got a winner. That was a lot of fun. Taking those silly photos and videos at the Merlion, trying to get angled all correctly and there's the marina bay sands oh we'd love to stay there one day but it's a bit pricey we'd love to stay there though we will be going in shop a mall maybe the casino can't film that and definitely the sky park which will probably be tomorrow in the next video but this is yeah really great first impression of singapore we've been here a couple of days now and Loving it so far, loving everything about it. The accessibility is fantastic. The cleanliness, the food's been great so far. The friendliness. The friendliness, like the, the people are just amazing. They really, really are. The politeness. They can't do enough to help any one of us. 
so what kind? Hey, me, oh, Caroline. So kind. Go out of the way to just help. It's just absolutely brilliant. Um, the food on Sentosa was a bit pricey, but it is definitely cheaper since we've moved over to the city. And we're just heading off to a hawker now to try and find some more food. I think we're gonna we're gonna aim for Lao Passat. See what they've got in there. That's the most famous, one of the most famous hawker centres in Singapore after Newton, which was in Crazy Rich Asians, but we will be going there. But yeah, first, let's let's go and check out Lao Passat, grab some food, and then we're probably gonna head back to the hotel and get freshened up. Because I am sweating. It is warm. Then some tall building, Sean. Yep. Look at this thing. We'll go up. Is that the standard charter building? The bit that's the, like open at the top? Yeah. Over here to the left, Caroline? Yeah. You go to the left there. Is that the, up to the standard charter building? Yeah, up go to up. it, yeah, up to it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I think that's a bar. And if it is, we're going to find it and we're going to go there and drink the shit out of it <laughs> while getting all of the views. That might be uh, worthwhile. Yeah. Security control in progress. Hi, security. Hi. Security robot here. Hi, oh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> security control in progress. I love that. Should have waved to the security. <laughs> Gonna walk through the Fullerton Bay, cool down a bit. Yeah, what was that, Sean? Walking through the Fullerton Bay to cool down. Yep, absolutely loving this city so far, to the point where we already want to come back. Yep. And I feel like we need to come back here yep. on the way to Bali or something yep. like that. But hold on. Sean, you're not fancy dipping that. <laughs> fancy dipping anything right now. That's like a little container bar for yep. container food. We don't want that, we want Lao Passat. Yeah. We will be going to Lao Passat more than once. We'll go now. We'll also be going later on in the evening one day in a future video where we try the satay that's grilled on the street. Satay street. What is this on the roundabout? It looks pretty I don't cool. know, that's why I'm um, recording because I wanted to see what it was to show everyone. We it looks like a Christmas, a Christmas tree of some sort. Oh, way down from these stairs right yeah. here. I think there's a ramp over there here. There we are. I mean, it's very accessible, but sometimes finding the ramps is not always easy. Doesn't it look like a Christmas tree? We've made it to Lao Passat, but unfortunately the lovely clock is under restoration, so we can't see it, which is a bit of a shame. But we're here, we'll try the food, and we're going to try and see if we can find where Paddy Doyle said there was cheap beers down one of the, um, the roads, but he never got to shore properly because it was raining. We'll find that. We have made it over to Lao Passat. Our first proper hawker. And he has a cute little cat, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Food folks in here. Lao Passat. Let's find some food. We're hitting the between the busy times of lunch and dinner. Yeah. Just taking a photo. See what we can find, eh? I don't think you want burger, do you? No, I don't want a burger. <laughs> I want something lighter because I'm not that bit hungry. I think and I'm just um, gonna get a sandwich. I'm, I'm not drinking coffee right now, so no coffee for me. You don't want any coffee? Uh, do you want right. chicken rice? No, I don't want chicken rice. Get lost in here. I think you've come oh. the wrong way. Oh well, that didn't go very well, Sean. <laughs> we'll get there. Round these tables. Korean, this way. Nope. Turkish, do you want some Turkish? No, I don't really want Turkish food. Like some tzatziki? Do you want some nasi lemak? Filipino no, I don't want nasi lemak, Filipino. Korean, nope. Biryani? No, I don't really want biryani. Pao oh, fan? Sean, you've gone the wrong way. I haven't, I've got you. There we go. Sorry. I had you. Shanghai fried Zhao Long Bao. I definitely want to try them. I have, I got it. Okay. Drinks. Let's go around. Oh, uh, there's beer somewhere there's in here. It's probably from Cheers. <laughs> yeah. This is the Saturday Street, Caroline. Yeah. This is what they close at night to uh, the right of you. Okay. That's all these stalls are the Saturday stalls, so we'll yeah. definitely be coming back and trying them at some point. 
Whether you beer. some beers. Cold beer. Find out what you want to eat first yeah. before beer. Thank you. <laughs> There is a you lot didn't of go down that side. That's the side oh, you didn't days. go down. So much choice, and this is only half the building. Yeah. Spinach soup. One ton noodles. Signature one ton noodles. I might get them. Signature one ton noodles. Right. Remember them. Can you see if there's any vegetarian uh, gyozas or potstickers? Gyozas, potstickers, dumplings, whatever you want to call. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. There is so much choice in here. Yeah, there's a lot of choice. So much choice. Mr. Teppanyaki? Uh, tomato, no, we don't want that. There's the Zhao Long Bao. Definitely want to but try what them. Was it, what was it that people advised you to try? Everything. Everything. Just try everything and see what you like. <laughs> that's what I what say. Is this the one that's got the Merlin star in it? Not sure. I don't think this one. Well, this Michelin. one in front said, of you is by the Michelin that? guy. Did you hear what I said there? M Merlin star? I bet yeah. Michelin? <laughs> this, that, this stall right to the side of us has a, it's in the Michelin guy. Okay. Pro noodle. Oh, there's so much choice. Let's see what we can find. This is not what it looked like on the pictures. They look smaller and this look bigger. Yeah, I've heard that before. Vegetarian butter chicken with a garlic naan. This is an extremely thin naan. I've never seen a naan so thin. Yeah, vegetarian butter chicken, which is there. Yep. But wait until you see the sides of this naan. It keeps on going. It doesn't stop. That's Ooh. huge. Oh, do you want a taste? Is that nice? Yeah, I think you should have a taste. We also got an Erdinger, which was $13, an Evian for three fifty. The garlic naan was $3, and the butter chicken was 8 Would you like the I taste? I think that's what the prices were. I'll put them on the screen. Potato or something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, I need to find something for me now. And I've got mine, which is the signature wonton noodle, which is barbecue pork, I think, with noodles and a wonton. And then it also comes with dumpling soup. Okay, let's try this soup. That's super fishy. Like, really fishy soup. Oh. Is it fishy? I'm not a fan of like fishy flavour. Is it fish dumplings though? I don't know, we'll find out. I don't know what's in them. Just went for it. The soup, the, the super tin is really, really fishy. This is like wobbling. Oh, don't know what that is. Not fish. It's actually quite nice. I'm gonna get rid of the soupy flavour. I don't know. Pork dumpling maybe? To match the pork on the noodles. Yeah, let's try a bit of this barbecue pork. Okay, that is bloody delicious. A barbecue pork. Wow. So nice. It was five dollars eighty for these for this dish. How crispy are you? One ton. Crispy. I think it's either pork or prawn. I'm, I'm not sure. Prawn maybe. Some of these things are hard to tell. Let's try the noodles. They are hot. Hot noodles. Very, very slight fishy taste. I don't know how to describe the flavour of these. It's their signature flavour, and they had a couple of choices. But I don't know how to describe that flavour. I've not had that flavour before. But in the background, there's a very, very, very small hint of fish. Could it be oyster? Maybe. You know what? I don't, oyster, sweet, oyster sauces are sweeter normally. I'm going to eat this while Caroline's working on her now look at this it's so thin look at it it's like paper thin that's how you like that's you love I, it i love it it's paper thin so eat so much easier for my stomach to eat at first attempt at hogger food was delicious but now i'm on the hunt for desserts i saw somebody somewhere that did cheesecake that looked quite good maybe over here i think it's over here let's let's go and check this out Okay, 
picked up a salted egg tart for $2.90 and a Basque Oreo cheesecake for $7.80. Let's try the cheesecake. <laughs> That's a good good bit of cheesecake. The fans are blowing everything everywhere, yeah. Let's try the salted egg just then. Oh, that's pretty much the best egg custard tart I've ever had in my life. That is beautiful. Try that egg, salted egg custard tart. That is the best egg custard tart I've ever had in my life. Ever. It's, it's different. It had different flavors as well, but I got the salted egg one. How, how good is it though? It's gone cold now because you've taken a little bit of time to eat it, but when it was warm. No, but you get the normal custard tart and then you get to the bottom and it's yolk. Like, like, like yolk off a breast, breakfast egg, I can't. Yeah. I'm not, it's just, I don't know. I love it anyway. Finish that beer. Nearly gone. First impressions of our room. So our luggage is already in the room. We don't need to ask for it to be brought up. And let's go in. There's our luggage. Oh, hi, luggage. <laughs> First impressions. Let's move the luggage out the way so you can get in. Oh, over here. It's a big bath. Right. So. First impressions. There is the big bed. Table. TV. And there's the bath. The view behind the blind is just the roof of SunTech, I think. But yeah, nice little room. Not as spacious as the village. No. But the village was a proper accessible room. This is just a regular panoramic deluxe room. So in here is the bathroom. There's a big bath and the shower chair. They supplied a shower chair for us, which they, when I contacted them over email, they said they couldn't do, but when we, Checked in earlier on, they could. And there's the fancy toilet. Is it a Japanesey one? Just a regular one. It does have grab handles. And there is the shower with Balmain from Paris. Mm, and a rain head. First impressions of the room? From my angle, it looks, it looks fine. I haven't really had a look around, but yeah, first impressions. Test the bed out. The hotel just delivered birthday cake to the room. We weren't expecting that. Happy birthday. Greetings from Pan Pacific, Singapore. Chocolate cake, we'll have a bit of that in a minute. That was nice of them, they just rang the doorbell and gave us some cake. Happy birthday, Caroline. Although we, we told them it was my birthday, you knocked the camera there. Sorry, sorry. Don't know how the stable, will t <laughs> is the stabilization working guys? Uh, Cause that's rocking, rocking. Don't come a knocking if the room is a rocking. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Chocolate cake, which Caroline doesn't really like, so I'll eat it. Uh, we did tell them it was our birthday yesterday and my birthday at the end of the month, and it's my 40th birthday trip, so we're not sure whose birthday this cake is for, but there's two pieces, so maybe it's one for each. He did say happy birthday for both. Yeah, I told, him, I told him it was for you, so. All right, let's try cake. By the ocean. Moist. That's very moist. Mm -hmm. Moist cake? Moist cake. It's a dark, rich chocolate cake. It's very rich. Yes. We you, need... you will enjoy that cake. Yeah. Sean will definitely enjoy the cake. Happy birthday. Cheers. <laughs> I've had a lovely day exploring the main central area of Singapore. I don't know about you, babe. It's been lovely, yeah. What's your first impressions of Singapore then? Now that we've done a bit of both sides. Santosa but, and you the you side. mean in, in the city? Yeah. I still think it's, it's still clean. Um, it's still nice. Obviously, it's cheaper than Sentosa. Mm. It is the the centre itself. Some of it seems busy. Some of it doesn't. There is a lot going on. There is a lot going on. Um, it. You really need to know where to walk to mm, as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's very accessible, but you do need to know where you're walking to. It's very big. The buildings are really tall. Yeah. Um, it's bigger than what you think it's going to be. <laughs> What's that? It's. A, <laughs> Come on over here. <laughs> it's, 
So your first impressions are that it's bigger than you think it's going to be. It's, bigger than it's a bit like think. Vegas. Everything yeah. looks close, but it's far away. But at the same time, the things that look far away are really close. And Weird. Um, first impressions, I like it. Uh, Let's see some more. Whatchamacallit, bay. Bay? <laughs> Marina Bay? Marie, Marina Bay looks different to what you see it on pictures or when you see people's vlogs. It, it does look different. Did you think it was bigger or smaller? A man never judges size correctly. <laughs> well, it's true, isn't it, guys? Hey. But your impre- from your impre- impression... I like it. Well, we need to get up close and see how big it really is. And we've got, actually, from our room, we can we see go on raffles. The top. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, we, we can see raffles. raffles. Well. R- loved the smell. Really like loved everything about raffles today. Yeah, I've, had, I've had a really nice day. We're now heading off to Halloween Horror Nights, yep. which you'll see in the got next video. Got our address on. So we'll see you in that one. Keep making memories. Catch you later. Bye.